Good morning. This is another time for a devotion, which I, the Lord has laid upon my heart. Last time we talked about uh, uh, fear, but God uh, offers us peace. And he says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your, your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you, yea, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Well, here is more uh, to confirm what uh, we have been talking about in Psalm 91. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. Well, first of all, we see here that it is uh, very safe to, to rest in the shadow of the Almighty because we have no other source that, is, that offers what, what uh, God's Word does. The, the Word of God, which was written over a period of 1,500 years by 40 different authors, and they all agree on the same theme. Is there another book like that? No. You'll never find one. Nevertheless, he's, but he says here, he will uh, keep us fr uh, from the uh, uh, fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. Pestilence. A disease that spreads rapidly, causing many deaths. And that's what the pestilence, word pestilence, and it's used twice in this chapter. And he goes on, surely, oh, I'm sorry, he will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. So, what a promise. Uh, uh, who, who else but our Heavenly Father who created everyone and the whole earth, even the stars which He brings out every morning and calls them all by name. What? All by name? How is that possible? With God everything is possible. He goes on to, to say, uh, a thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only ob observe the eyes of and see the punishment of the wicked. And he gives another challenge of, if you make the Most High your dwelling, even the Lord who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you no disaster will come near you or your tent. Uh, he will command his angels concerning to guard you in all your ways. I don't find a better promise than this. Uh, I'm not saying that there's more promises like that in the, in the Bible, but, but these, uh, this is a very uh, uh, solemn promise that he gives here. And he says, uh, these angels, they will lift up, lift you up, uh, in, in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against the stone. You will tread upon the lion and the uh, cobra. You will uh, trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. And I trust that what I'm saying, that uh, when I love you, I love the Lord, and that happened uh, almost 60, a little over 60 years ago. When uh, one night, I, when I was about to turn in for, for, for the night, I was under a deep conviction of my life, which I had lived on my own, and I called upon, well, upon God, and He, and He, uh, He heard me. I didn't. Uh, I only noticed that the next morning, but. After I had called upon him and said, I, I want you to come and take over my life, I, I, I can't do it on my own. And uh, he knew that I meant what I said, and I, I don't think I was awake more than five minutes. And, he, 
and I f fell asleep and I only woke up uh, in the morning. And when I woke up, I, I had desired to read the Word. Well, how, how was that? I, I, I never had that desire before. But I, later on, as I continued to read and study and, and what people had uh, shared with me, how you, I could have uh, assurance of salvation and so on, uh, I realized that, that uh, God had met me right in that, that, that time when I called upon him. Because he loves me, I, uh, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, uh, for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I, I will deliver him and honor him with, all, with long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. I would challenge everyone who listens to these, this chapter read, read it over, not just once, several times, and, and, uh, and ask yourself, what is God telling me? This has not just been, not just been written to cover the pages of this, of this uh, book. It's there to, for us to to lay hold of and, and to claim it for our, ourselves because these are the promises that God makes to us and it's just like salvation, it's by grace through faith and not of ourselves, it is the gift of God and a gift must be received if we don't receive this, we don't have it and I have over this year, a little over a year of this uh, uh, pandemic uh, virus I've read this chapter over again and again, and I, I cannot but just say, yes, Lord, this is what you have for us to, to claim. God says, I will deliver and honor him with long life to I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Psalm 90 says, the length of his days, well, of a person's days are 70 years or 80 if, if we have the strength and then trouble and sorrow and so on go on. But nevertheless, I have, uh, I've been past 80 now for nine years already. So the last nine years I've been li living on borrowed time. And uh, when uh, Pastor Peter challenged me to, if I would want to bring a devotion, I had done, uh, done devotions in the Mennonite home for roughly 10 years already, uh, I uh, wasn't sure I should wanted to do it. But the Holy Spirit somehow convicted me again and again, and I said, yes, Lord, if you want me to do it, I want to, I want to be faithful. And that's the reason I'm sharing this, this with you. So this <clears throat> whole chapter is, is uh, challenging us to trust the Lord with all our heart, and lean not unto our own understanding. In all our ways acknowledge him, and he will direct our path. That's uh, Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6, actually. And uh, that's basically all I need. I want to share at this time. I have a, a song that I want to sing. In times like these. In times like these you need a Savior. In times like these you need an anchor, be very sure, be very sure, your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. This rock is Jesus, yes he's the one, this rock is Jesus, the only one. Be very sure, be very sure, your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. Verse 2. In times like these you need the Bible, in times like these, oh be not idle, be very sure, be very sure, your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. This rock is Jesus, yes, he's the one. This rock is Jesus, the only one. 
Be very sure, be very sure, your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. In times like these, I have a Savior. In times like these, I have an anchor. I'm very sure, I'm very sure. My anchor holds and grips the solid rock. This rock is Jesus, yes, he's the one. This rock is Jesus, the only one. I'm very sure, I'm very sure. My anchor holds and grips the solid rock. That is basically what I'm going to be sharing today. Let's just close in a word of prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you for your mercy and your grace and your love to all mankind. All that you have created, all that's been created, you have created. And even though they try to uh, do away with it at times, but one day, judgment is coming and all will be there each one receiving justly their uh, what is due what they're due and so we well, just want to commit this day to you and uh, all that you have uh, caused me to re read and to uh, to explain here may that uh, help you to make that decision which which you will never regret once you call on the name of Jesus the only one who says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me, the words of Jesus. And so we thank you for what you will continue to do and ask your blessing upon each one who will be listening with thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen.